lovely episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I, I just feel like a Michael Jackson down there when it says swirls. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> you little moan. Oh. Anyway, what, Dan? That's why Mike's giggling. <laughs> We got it. It's, uh, we know what this beer is. You probably know what this beer is too. Just Oddly by enough, we've never it. had it on the channel, which is insane. Yeah. Uh, Just tell us what we're drinking anyway. So, Mike, this is a beer from the Southern Tier Brewing Company yes. out of Lakewood, New York. And uh, this is their IPA, India Pal Ale. What does that stand for, Dan? India Pal Ale. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, this is a 19.2 fluid ounce can. Oh, I love it. 7% ABV with a Best Buy date, not a can done date. I mean, well, there is a, like a weird lock code down in the bottom, but I don't oh, need to do that. Oh, my, oh, my. So, it says right. Best Buy 2 6 2025, and generally they put like a six month window on yeah, it. Yeah, okay. So, if I do the math, mm -hmm. this was brewed August 6th. I like it. All right. And we're probably about a month and a half out. Primed. So. Yeah. Primed and ready to go. So we've... Yeah, this is weird. So it's it's like hyper... It's not hyper local. This is local to New York. But yeah. it's Southern Tier is very regional to the Northeast. Yeah. So like this is a beer that everybody can get. Like pretty much everybody. You Always walk on a the gas shelves. station. Yeah. Uh, your local sports bar. Whatever. Usually on tap. Like, yeah. yeah th this is a readily available beer. So generally, like if I go to like... Um, like Blue Cross Arena in Rochester yeah. for an event or something. Like, this is one of the craft beer options. Yep. Yeah, it's generally always there. This is one of the first craft beers I remember drinking because Frank and I would always get the two times series that they Okay. Made. Like the Porter, the two times style, the two times IPA. I was like, this stuff is great. <laughs> there we go. Good. Get oh. So that is a very nice amber colored beer with a great big old two and a half fingers worth of head on there uh kind of slightly tan khaki head great carbonation bubbles rising up it yeah, looks great definitely the color is uh this is like a, a really just kind of uh appearance wise a true representation of just an american ipa yes th this is what i remember first seeing when i first drank an ipa and was like oh okay now interestingly <laughs> enough the first time you ever had, whatever, the two times. Whatever. Sure. So was that still IPA face kind of time for you? Like It, it was definitely like, oh my, what am I drinking here? Like, it was one of those deals. Let's get away. <laughs> oh. I got I to gotta tell you, I'm, it's hard for me to get aroma through all the, the head. So oh, the I'll tell you what. I am getting fresh hop. Like off the vine, uh, a, a bitter orange citrus, like it is just busting through its grassy. Uh, I'd like to put out there that I couldn't find. It kind of it seems like maybe it's uh, their own, pro pro like proprietary kind of thing where they don't divulge the hops. Oh yeah, but the well, two I times IPA, they divulge that there's some Northwest like Simcoe and Cascade hops. Yeah, so maybe there's some. We'll, we'll, if I had we'll to guess, I'd say there's a C hop in here. Oh yeah, Cascade would. Be my first guess so really kind of subdued for me still okay all I'll, right i gotta let it open up or all i get is that really th there's a really nice soft floral aroma oh there we go on it too i did oh, the map for massive beers yeah no, we haven't done that in a while. okay the, there it is you getting it like it smells like hop it <laughs> there's that like there's hop. that hop and like that little bit of like grapefruit pith with that oh, resiny yep, yep, backbone absolutely. and then, then there's that malt just waxy in the face <sighs> it smells so good well, let's get a let's dive or, in. get a sip what am i saying i'm so excited Cheers. <laughs> oh i like that we both went back in for another sip um that hop presence is there. I get a really nice, the grapefruit pith is front and center. Really nice, juicy, pithy, rindy bitterness uh, with the floral aspects just kind of wrapped around it. Um, it's dry, but it's juicy. It's bitter, but it's fruity. It's grassy. It's very easily drinkable. I like it a lot. It is. 7% uh, ABV. I don't know. So... I was expecting it to be maybe a little bit fuller mm -hmm. uh, on the body aspect. Sure, for 7%, yeah. Uh, Mouthfeel is crisp. Oh, very uh, much so. It is very easy drinking. Like, this is 
definitely something like you said goes down really easy and, mm-hmm. and smooth would probably pair well with like your local bar food and stuff like that um you're getting a good burger at a local yeah. you know the brew pub or something like that this is a perfect beer to go with it so what's odd about this for me is it's it has that bitterness like you said it's got that fruity kind of citrus character with that multi like kind of a little bit dirty tomato soil kind of taste okay. to it on the back end but as much as it's there the flavor it seems to not stick around that long like there is that kind of mm-hmm. fresh hop yeah cone i think that kind of taste around. but it's not like syrupy is okay i guess what i'm trying to like think about is like like a dogfish hat or something mm-hmm. like that, like a, a 90 minute or something like that. Sure. Like it's subtle, but it hits at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. With the bitterness is there, but it's not over the top. Yeah. I, I think it's a, a very oh, it, nicely it, balanced I, beer. Like it's know. well, and maybe balance isn't even the word. It blended. It's a well blended beer. I'm describing this terribly. What, I guess, I know, it's weird, man. It's like, there's like this fourth hurdle that's just not quite jumping over to make everything explode. Okay. If that makes sense. Like, it it gets there, gets there, gets there, stops. I wonder what it is. For me, at least. True mystery beer for Dan. But he'll figure it out. He's tastemaker. Um, It's a classic IPA. Did you figure it out? Did you did you leap? No. <laughs> <laughs> Anticlimactic as usual. Uh, what, what are you rating this one? Three nine. I'm at an even four. Yeah, it, it's a very solid, good beer. It is. I think there's just something. I don't. I'll figure it out. Something. Something else I want. It'll come to him as soon as the camera goes off. Uh, How about you? Leave us a comment down there. Is there a classic uh, regional beer you like? I bet you I'd find it in the two times. We'll find out. We gotta drink that too. Uh, Yeah, leave us a comment. Uh, We got the link tree down there. Uh, Classic beer. We are classic as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.